Hello everybody, this is Art again coming with another review and yes we're sticking with Batman because you know why? Why not? He is awesome, he's the world's greatest detective, he is, uh, he's Batman. Even though I like to think I'm Batman sometimes but my wife keeps reminding me that I'm not Batman, unfortunately. Anyway, so we're going to start off with uh, the Batman Christian Bell, the long-awaited Christian Bell from the Dark Knight trilogy, from the Christopher Nolan. Um, yeah, what can I say? We've all been excited for this. We've all been wanting this. And McFarlane, you are awesome. You're just giving us all the hits, everything we've been wanting um, here. And this is to the build of... Uh, figure for Bane so um, excited to go ahead and take a look at that so um, let's see anything else on the side no, that's it all right so without further ado let's get into this bad boy and see what it's all about all right and here he is out of the box we have the Christian Bell Batman uh, we have this the standard stand that comes with all the uh, DC uh, Batman figures or even the multiverse figures we have the awesome card which I had a little trouble getting it out so it has a little crease which I'm probably gonna it's gonna probably gonna keep me from sleeping at night we have uh, the three batarangs the grappling gun and Bane's two legs so let's go ahead and get into um, getting a, a detailed look at this guy all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at his articulation. So as um, you can see, he cannot lift his arms really high. If you look closely, there is um, like shoulder pads here that while they do look cool, this is pretty much as far as you're gonna be able to go. With his legs though, he does have a double joint. So he is able to go all the way. Um, his legs do go about yay high. So if you wanted to do a Spider-Man pose, you can almost do one with him. But then again, this is Batman. Um, really no uh, torso rotation, up or down. Head movement is good. It's down, not really up though. Um, let's take a look at his face. Um, it's a nice sculpt. Is it Christian Bell? Maybe, but either way, it looks awesome. If we take a look at his um, his uh, the Batman logo. That looks really good. The whole uh, the whole costume, the whole outfit, the whole Batman gear looks good. We have the gold belt with um, almost looks like a Batman emblem right there in the middle on the buckle. It's not, but that's pretty cool. Looks like they were trying to do that. Um, the rest of the outfit again really good we have a rubber cape with him um yeah just this is as far as uh aside from the arms that don't go up this is going to be a really good um representation of the dark knight trilogy the arm does go up and down and all around but uh yeah so this is really good Let's go ahead and see if we can uh, get him with some of his accessories. Okay, and here he is with the grappling gun. The grappling gun looks really good. It has a lot of cool details. The only thing is it's all gold. You know, it's supposed to be black, but again, it's cool. We're not going to gripe about that. And because he doesn't have much uh, articulation where he can look up, you kind of have to cheat a little bit and put his whole body back, so it kind of looks like he's leaning. But we get the we get the picture. Um, if you look from a certain angle, it looks like he's falling. But if you get just a right angle, you can't really tell. So that looks good. Now let's take a look with his battering. Okay, here is Batman with the battering. Again, it seems a little bit difficult to pose again because the articulation isn't great as on the upper torso body. That includes the arms, the neck, and the torso. But luckily, the legs have really good articulation, so we were able to make up for that. But here he is with that. 
Now let's go ahead and compare it, compare him to some other Batman. Now here he is next to the three Jokers Batman. With the save. Okay, and here he is in a um, Batarang tossing contest with Nightfall Batman. Again, both with the rubber capes, both looking pretty awesome. And let's do one more comparison. And here he is next to the 1989 Batman. You can tell how much the cloth versus the rubber cape make a difference. There you go. So final thoughts about Batman, uh, Night, Dark Knight Trilogy, it looks awesome. It's going to look great posing there. The posing, again, leaves a little bit to be desired just because of the limited um, arm motion and torso and neck being able to look up. But it doesn't really matter. We're not out here, you know, going to be playing with the toys. We're going to pose them a couple of times or every once in a while and put them on the shelf. This is more than enough. So, um, yes, if you find him out there, still it might be somewhere out there, definitely go for it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. Uh, let me know if you picked them up already. Let me know if you're planning on picking them up. Um, yeah, more stuff coming. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, be good, smile and other stuff. Bye.